Okay, so I'm going to show how to disassemble a late 2014 Mac Mini model A1347. Right, so first what you want to do, there's um, three little clips holding this lid in place. One here, one here, and one here. So if you don't have a, I mean, you don't have to use a pry tool, you can use your nails. But if you don't have strong enough nails, you can use a pry tool. So the first what you want to do is get along the edge and then close to the clip as possible and kind of just pull on it. So like that, like that, okay? And then go around, get the other one, like that. And then the bottom one, same thing, all right? So the tools you're gonna need are a T6 and a T8, that's it, all right? So for taking out these screws, you wanna use the T6 bit. Make sure to keep them in order because these are all different. There's the larger ones to hold the clips in place. And then you got these shorter ones. But I like to keep them all in order, so I take them out and just place them in a pile the same way that you remove them. Okay, so this one's the middle top one, so I put it up there. You got the side one. Put it on the side. Alright, so you get the point. Just do that. Make a little circle with the screws, just like how it is. Okay. That. All right. Pretty much you make the same shape you're taking out. Okay, so the way you'll know which one goes where is the Mac Mini is right side up with the label down here. So you know that, okay, the clips are here. So if you somehow like twirl it around, spin it upside down, you'll know which way it goes. All right, so once you do that, just lift this out. You can grab this little circle, it'll help. Um, there's an antenna attached, so make sure when you do that, don't just yank it off, okay? So there's one screw holding this antenna in place right here. So I'll show you. Remove this one screw here, and then the antenna is removable like the, all the other models of Max and everything. You just pull uh, close to the tail and just pull it straight up. So let's see if I can show this. Okay, sorry, it's going to be blurry because this tripod doesn't go that low. All right, so remove that one screw. Okay, set that aside. All right, and then like I was saying, get as close to the tail as you can and then just pull it up. So I like to use my nails. You can use anything just to kind of get under it and then just pull it straight up like that. All right, this will come out. Make sure when you do it again, put it back that this cable goes underneath. All right, so you can set that aside. All right, got this. Then you got a few screws. Um, the fan has three screws, one here, one here, and one here. So just unscrew those. I like to leave the fan connected. I mean the screws in the connected with the fan. I don't like to set them aside. So you can loosen them a little bit. All right, and then lift the fan up with all the screws. Just like that, there's a little connector here. All right, so as you can see, there's the connector down there. To remove that, just get as close to the connector as possible. Grab the wires and kind of just wiggle it while pulling it straight up. Okay, just like that. All right. Then you got some connectors here. So you want to remove this one. This is the hard drive connector. Um, so just take the little screw out here. And there's actually only one other screw that you need to remove, which is right here. Okay, so remove those two screws. One up here. All right. Set that aside. And this screw here. This one has a little metal cover on it, so just be careful when you're taking the screw out that you take the metal cover with it. Okay, set that aside. And then to remove this, you can use um, a pry tool, or again, I just use my nails. So I just go under the little edge of it, and then I just 
pop it up just like that. Okay. And then this one, you might actually need a needle. Um, probably should have got that as well. But uh, you can probably use this as well. Just get underneath the cables like this. And then kind of just, let's see if I can get it in focus. And then just lift it, okay? Like that. Once you get a little corner of it up, then you can kind of just move the whole thing and release it like that. All right. So once you got all of that, this is going to be kind of the hard part. It takes a little force, a little strength. So most people, they get like a tool and stick it through these holes and then they kind of pull it and this whole thing will come out. But I found the easiest way, um, you find like a decently sized one that fits this where the screw used to be because it's kind of steel reinforced or something. They put some metal here so it actually holds it in really well. So what I do is I just take this um, T8 screwdriver, I'll stick it in here, and then I'll use that to kind of leverage. So just use that, make sure you're not holding onto the black part because that's what's gonna slide out, and then just pull on it. So what you can't, the easiest way is if you kind of like maybe hold here and then use this and don't pull like twisting it, make sure you're kind of like pulling more like this, the lowest part forward. So don't pull like this, pull it like that, like at the bottom, okay? So just do that, pull it kind of hard and there you go. Um, sometimes you won't be able to get it out just like that. So what you'll have to do, um, let me show you. So this is part of the thing we're putting it back. Make sure these little spongy things and the clips go in. So make sure when you're pushing it back down that those go in. But yeah, sometimes you can't just get it with just one. So there's the other screw hole here. So you can also use that side and pull it. So I would alternate between the two if you can't do it with just the one side like I did like that. So because you don't want it to just go at a crooked angle like that. Okay. So if it's going out one side at a crooked angle, then you can use the other side to pull it and kind of straighten it out. So once you do that, you can move this and you'll have to disconnect this. This is the um, uh, power supply connector to the motherboard. So what you want to do is you kind of, if you can grab some of the wires and just wiggle it like this and it'll come out, All right? Then you just pull this out the rest of the way and you can set that aside. Um, yeah, I'll use these covers. So just stick, set it aside like that. All right, after that, you got um, put back the T6 bit um, and you got two more screws here. So remove these two screws, just like that. Okay, set that aside. This one's kind of a little tricky if your screwdriver's big, so just make sure you get it in and you're not like unscrewing it at a stripping the, the screw screw. So otherwise you won't be able to get out. Okay, set those aside. Once you get that, you want to remove the this power connector. There's a little silver tab thing here that you want to remove. It basically wedges the between the the this power thing connector so you just pull that back to put it back you basically just slide it back under there but um yeah so take that out and then this one actually twists so you want to twist it all the way sideways like that and after you twist it you should be able to kind of wiggle this more freely all right and then after that I like to use this kind of as a handle um, if you can and then kind of pull on that if you can't, you can try and grab like here and then the outside. You don't want to pull on this because there's two wires. The two wires are pretty thin. So just pull on that. Make sure that this releases and it's not still stuck in the grooves. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. So it should be more loose. And then after that, you can grab on that probably use this as a handle as best and then just push it out like that okay just like that 
So this is the power supply. So you can see this cable is actually replaceable as well if you damage it, if you can find a replacement part. And then this one, they just actually soldered in there. So yeah, if you break that, then pretty much you're going to have to replace this power supply most likely. All right. Then after that, because these screws are already out, the hard drive thing will just slide out like this. All right. So now you got it. I already upgraded this to an SSD. So, but I'll show you. So once you get there, you'll need the, the T8, I believe. Let me make sure. Yes, so you will need the T8 to remove the SSD or the hard drive. And you just, there's four screws on the sides. Just remove these four screws. All right. Be careful because there's uh, some cabling over here. You don't want to damage it. Just remove all these. Okay, so this one screw is being held in by this cable. So there we go. All right, so once you get the screws, be careful with this because it, it can get caught on it. So you want to kind of bend it up and then guide it through this slot. All right like that and then they use some adhesive here so be careful with lifting this up off the hard drive just like that and then there's also a thing of tape here so just get underneath that and peel it off so you can use a needle or something you can use your nails kind of scrape it um, but since this is what I'm leaving in there I'm not going to take it out after you take this piece of tape out and lift this piece up you can actually pull this off put it on a new drive or SSD, then just put this tape back on, and then push this back down, and basically do everything in reverse. Make sure this goes back in the slot. Let's see here. It's hard to do this in the camera, but you get the point. That's pretty much it. That's how you would disassemble the whole thing. Put all the screws back the way you took them out, and you're good to go. Um, so I already showed how to put this back and all the other things. Slide it in. Make sure these are pressed down so they don't get caught on the side. Okay. And then with this one, when you put it back, you'll put it at an angle. And then you have to twist it back this way so it goes in the grooves. And it actually goes into, there's some grooves that are closer in the front. And then one's in the back, it goes into the back groove. So make sure it goes into the back groove and this groove. Okay? Twist it and then you put that. Make sure you put this little metal piece back in. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, thanks. Bye.